This is News Center 5 at 5. Local, live coverage you can count on. Doctors say it is the number one preventable illness in America. How to protect your family? That's coming up in today's Health Alert. Well, a call to action tonight from the nation's top doctor. The Surgeon General is in Boston this evening, and he's sounding an alarm, saying we all need to learn about the dangers of deep vein thrombosis. And as a 28-year-old person, when you hear blood clot, you don't think that you're going to get one. Three years ago, Heidi Blongestainer survived a horrible car crash, but didn't feel well even after she went home from the hospital. Unfortunately, I had developed large multiple clots in my lungs. She learned firsthand the dangers of deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, blood clots as big as 10 centimeters that form in the legs and can travel to the heart and lungs. It kills 100,000 Americans every year, but six times that many get it. Because not all of the clots break off and travel through the heart into the lung arteries. The nation's Surgeon General says this is the number one preventable illness. It claimed the life of NBC reporter David Bloom in 2003, but has also impacted former Vice President Cheney, even Richard Nixon. The risk factors include trauma, surgery, or... High cholesterol, high blood pressure, cigarette smoking, but in particular, immobility and obesity. Once diagnosed, some patients will need a device like this. It traps any blood clots, large blood clots, that would travel up towards the heart and the lungs. But simple blood thinners help most, like Heidi, who's now trying to help others avoid her near-death experience. Over the past three years, when I talk about what happened to me, I've only come across one person who has heard of pulmonary embolism. A sedentary life or sitting in one position for a long time can trigger DVT, and that's why some think of it as a danger connected to long airplane flights. You can fight back by exercising, staying hydrated, and if you smoke, guess what? Stop. Well, It'll make a big say, difference. They always say stop the smoke. They do. That's a given. It's a good given.